Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to another episode of Miss Universe 2022 Contestants Profile, Review and Analysis Welcome. So today, we will be talking about Panama's representative to Miss Universe 2022 and please stay tuned because at the end of the video, we will be adding Panama on our list of favorites and we will know where she lands on our current ranking. But before we talk about the representative this year, let's talk about the performance of Panama in the last 10 editions of Miss Universe. So that's from 2012 to 2021. And from 2012 to 2021, Panama was able to pull two placements. In 2016, Katie Drannan finished in the top 13 and their most recent placement was in 2021, last year, with Brenda Smith who finished in the top 16. This year, they just crowned Solaris Barba. And before we continue, don't forget to follow her on her Instagram account, which I will be posting at the bottom of the, of the screen, and it is at Solaris Barba C so that we could be able to follow her journey to the Miss Universe 2022 pageant. Now, Solaris is a familiar face to all of us because she represented Panama at Miss World 2018 where she finished in the top 12. And not just top 12, she was Miss World America. She's a finalist in talent, top model, sports, and beauty with a purpose where she's working with people with genetic condition called albinism so it's safe to say that panama is coming this year in miss universe as a clear and solid competitor i mean placing in those events in miss world is not a joke and that is such a tremendous achievement for her and that speaks so much about her quality as a candidate this year now let's talk about her future and possible performance in the Miss Universe competition. In Miss World, swimsuit and evening gown walk isn't much highlighted, unlike in Miss Universe. I have seen a video of her swimsuit and evening gown performances in her previous national pageant, and the walk is good and her body looks great, but on a Miss Universe quality, she needs to really polish her walk and make it a bit stronger to compete with other strong competitors because Miss Universe is like the fiesta of catwalk on stage and having a simple walk does will not put you in the next round so you really need to make sure that to give and you can compete with strong competitors who are amazing on the runway for the public speaking i think we have nothing to worry about because her exposure in miss world and finishing top 12 is already a proof that she's one of the good ones this year because you won't finish that high in miss world if you can speak also, we have seen her performance in the Miss World Head to Head Challenge where she proved that she is a force when it comes to public speaking. For now, we are definitely considering Panama as someone who could continue their placement. I think her public speaking could help her get a spot in the first cut and if she improves on her walk and styling because her styling at Miss World was very classic, very vintage, and very Miss World. So if she could adapt and make her styling better here in Miss Universe, she could easily cement herself as one of the contenders to be. Honestly, this is someone we should watch out for because she could snatch one spot from the favorites and emerge on top. Well, having said that, Panama is the 13th candidate that we have reviewed and here's the current ranking for Miss Universe 2022. Number 13 goes to Kazakhstan, 12 for Mauritius, 11 for Canada, 10 Korea, 9 Malta, 8 Croatia, 7 for Ghana, 6 Dominican Republic, and I'll put Panama at number 5 as of the moment, 4 Mexico, 3 Venezuela, 2 for Philippines, and my current number 1 is Colombia. And if you haven't seen my reviews for the other candidates, they're already available on my YouTube channel, so you can just go ahead and check them out. So what do you think? 
Is it time for Panama to pull another top 5 placement? Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.